what up youtube this is your girl pimp back with another video i was out here doing some ride sharing and this shit brought me all the way to fucking in the middle of hammond indiana but i'm gonna eat real quick <coughs> before i jump back into it bless this food i'm about to receive in jesus name amen what's up youtube what y'all been up to see so i'm gonna do a quick muck bun while i'm sitting here eating might as well um just trying to get in, make some money real quick before I got to pick up my nephew for his sleepover. Mm. And the Popeyes. And like I said, I'm in Indiana. Hammond to be exact. So I got red beans and rice. I got their new chicken. Well, it's not, it may be new to y'all, but they used to have these back in the day. But I got the chicken nuggets. They good, but I wish they had the spicy. Once they get the spicy, it's gonna be on popping. Mmm, but this red beans and rice is hidden. Mm. So it is Friday. What is this? August sixth. Time is flying. It literally just, just July. It was just July 4th. You know, still hella shit going on. They still don't know what's going on with Rona. At the end of the day, y'all, keep wearing y'all masks. Do what's best for you. Whether you want to get vaccinated or not get vaccinated, that is your choice. Don't let nobody pressure you into nothing that pertains to your body. And I hate when people say, well, y'all drink alcohol, you smoke this, X, Y, Z, yeah, but at the end of the day, that's my choice, my body. So if people want to get vaccinated, let them get vaccinated. Like, what, what the fuck? And vice versa. If they don't, they don't. Mm. I didn't do a talk about it Tuesday. Cause I was so tired. Um, I had work that night, and then I had to take my grandma to her appointment early in the morning. So, mm, so these red beans and rice, they get a feel. They don't taste like this in Chicago. It tastes like somebody grandma made this. But I got the buffalo sauce. Because the lady did tell me it wasn't spicy. She said they coming up with the spicy, but they don't know when. So. Man, it's been hella shit going on. So y'all know Lollapalooza ended. And now all of a sudden they want to cancel all the fest festivals and stuff. You should have been canceling Lollapalooza. It was over 100,000 people there with no mask on. Which, I don't blame them because you said if they vaccinated, they didn't have to wear masks. And then all of a sudden, at the last minute, oh, y'all need to show proof that you vaccinated or you need to wear a mask. And it's like, look, it's day two. These people didn't pay their money already. You already told them what they could and could not do. And that's what they finna do. So, blame yourself for the spikes going up. And then, you know, it's just a lot going on. So, protect y'all peace. So, I see young Miami and Puff Daddy about to do their thing. At the end of that, that's what Puff Daddy's going to be. He's going to be an old man. Dating younger chicks because I mean at the end of the day his the love of his life is gone. Kim Porter wasn't the love of his life. Even when they broke up, got back together, you know, wasn't together, all that stuff, they still love each other. And them girls look just like their mamas. Well, they look they look like both of them, but they they really like their mom. And they're getting so older. 
So, yeah, Miami. Just have fun, girl. Don't expect no type of commitment from Diddy. Which I don't think she's expecting that anyway. Have fun. Enjoy life. Don't get pregnant. Just enjoy the time. Mm. Man. The baby getting it. He getting canceled left, left and right. You know it's fine. Yeah, it's real chicken. Got some water. I was so thirsty, and I was like, the only thing that's gonna crunch my thirst is water. But anyway, so the baby. <sighs> I get it. Because what he said was unnecessary. I don't even know why he said it. But my problem is he's he said this before at other concerts. So why was he canceled then? And then my thing is and I have posted on my Facebook, you know. <clears throat> Why can't we cancel, you know, gay artists who talk bad about, shit, gay artists be talking bad about other gay people, but they don't get canceled. And I get, oh, they're tight community, this and that and that and this, but you know how the baby is. That's why you signed him. You know he has no filter. So it's cool for him to say, he out here smoking drugs and all this and all that. Out here slapping fans in the face, jumping on people. Violent as hell. You signed him then, but he said something. And he was, I don't even think he was really, people say, oh, he was applying to the gay community. No. I think he was just saying some stupid ass shit. Honestly and truthfully. So... I don't think it was for one particular person or group. It was just a stupid, unnecessary comment at the end of the day. So, but it's the consequences of your actions. And yes, I know other people have said some crazy ass shit. Other people have incited a riot on the White House. Because of freedom of speech, which I'm all for freedom of speech, but we gotta know that that shit ain't so free when it comes to certain certain communities, like especially the black community. We can't say shit. But people can say whatever they want to us. And it's cool. You can say you're gonna grab bitches by the pussy and all types of shit. You can beat your girlfriend half to death. And they're going to pray for you and send you to counseling. So, I don't know, people. But just be careful what you say. Or be cool with the comp with the consequences. Because I'm the type of person that I'm not going to apologize for something I said because that's how I felt then. At the time of the conversation, or well, that's what I—that's what how I feel. So I ain't gonna apologize for that. I kind of hate when people apologize. And I get it, you gotta apologize because you're losing money, but if that's how you felt, and that's how you felt. Take the consequences. He's still gonna get booked for shows. People still gonna support him. So, but I know that million dollar checks was hurting. Them festivals bring in a lot of money. But he'll be cool. He issued a apology and all that good shit. Mm. 
What else going on? Oh, shout out to Rihanna. The girl is worth a billion. You know, all I'm going to say is, Jay-Z has made a lot of millionaires. And, I'm, and I respect the fact that Benny Siegel came back and said, you know, I was wrong on the situation. You know, so I appreciate him doing that. But Jay, you can't deny Jay Z. You can't. You can't. And even Dane, even though they beefing or whatever, they have made millionaires. And Dame has always been big on that. Like, yeah, I, I don't want you to work for me. I want you to. I mean, I guess let me basically show you the way. You make your own money. Be your own boss. And eventually, that's what it's supposed to be. So you can pass down the same thing. Like, okay, let me make a billion now. Shit, now, Jay-Z team made himself, Rihanna, and Kanye the billionaires. And you got to get credit where credit is due. So, oh, shit. I don't know if y'all heard the new Nas album, but man, that's definitely some cool shit. I would be chilling too. Man. But Lauren Hill, her verse, I have to put that on repeat. She said what she said. Make sure y'all go check that album out. He got a lot of people on there too. He got a lot of good features on there. But that Lauren Hill one, classic. She ain't gonna play with you hoes. Mm. Well, y'all, I just want to do a quick video. About to get back on this ground. Get ready for this slumber party. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Tell a friend. Tell another friend. You know, it costs you nothing to subscribe, but means everything to me. Let's get up to a million. I'm thinking big, thinking big. A million subscribers. I'm not gonna edit this video. Cause you know, like I said, I'm on. A, I'm just. This is an improv too. But I will holler at y'all later. YouTube, y'all making a good one. Y'all be safe out here in these streets, you know. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.